up guys and welcome back to the second episode of my World Cup series. Today we're going to be carrying on with the Asian qualifiers. This is a very good episode with a couple of very interesting results, a couple of shot games, some top teams having poor matches, some top teams having great matches, some bottom teams all over the place. So stay with it, remember to like, subscribe, let's do this. We opened with a game between Russia and Saudi Arabia. Russia being clear favourites to win this game, but the Saudis actually dominated the match in what was a very interesting game to play. Saudi dominated the first half, the second half was more 50-50, with both sides getting through. But on one attack from the Russians, the Saudis were finally able to counter-attack with the Brack backing a great finish, smashing it top bins actually, it was a great one to see it in second, giving them a 1-0 victory in this game, but giving the Saudis actually Four points from their first two games, putting them in a good position to possibly get through the automatic qualifiers without having to go through any playoffs at all. So, game one done, and it was definitely an exciting start. The first Group B game of the video is between Korea Republic and China. Korea were favourites, especially after beating Japan the game before, but China actually took the lead for the second game running, and this time they were actually able to hold on for a draw, despite Korea attacking many, many times, having a lot of good chances. Korea's finished there, a great head and a great cross, actually. That was a lovely goal to score. But Korea were unable to actually win the game in one. They probably should have won, but it does mean they do sit comfortably on four points from their first two games. Probably a result they'd much rather have from what they were expecting. Australia's second game of the qualifying competition was between them and Lebanon. The team that managed to get a draw against Saudi Arabia quite impressively in their previous game. They went down 1-0 early on in the match to the Socceroos but actually managed to peg it back and get a one all draw against them. Being their second shock result putting them third in the table of Group A which gave them a playoff spot and give them a chance of qualifying for the 48 team World Cup so maybe Lebanon will be the shock team of the Asian qualifying set.
the final game of match day two between Japan and Syria. Despite having lost their first game to Korea Republic, they were definitely favourites to beat Syria with Al Summer being Syria's only keeper. As you can see on the screen now, Kanga will put them ahead early on with a great turn and finish. However, the Syrians actually surprised, managing to peg it back to 1-0 and it looked like that was how the game was going to end. Good shot there for Japan, one of many chances they have, they weren't able to finish them. And in the 90th minute, Syria made them regret their misses and managed to beat them 2-1 in a shock result while the key games of the qualifying sector, which means Japan are the only team in Pot B to have not secured a point after match day two, meaning they're probably gonna have to win both of their remaining games against China and Iran to stand any chance of qualifying for the 48 team World Cup. What all this means is that at the end of game week 2, Australia and Saudi Arabia are sitting in prime position with 4 points each, Lebanon sitting right in the middle currently in the playoff spot with after 2 draws. They've only actually scored 1 goal though on the flip side they've only conceded 1. UAE and Russia both on 0 points still although they do both have a game in hand so a win for both of them which will be against each other, the loser is in a very very bad position going into those final game weeks. Meanwhile, in Group B, Korea Republic is sitting on top in a very, very good position after getting a win and a draw from their first two games. Iran and Syria both doing alright, the winner of their game in hand will probably pretty much be already qualified for the World Cup. China and Japan both looking in very, very poor positions. When those two play each other, the loser will probably not be qualifying for the World Cup. So, that is the end of the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.